I'm part of the Camsies Advisors. We're a group of young people who access services around Surrey that aim to try and improve and better the service for service users. Within SEER we do lots of things. We do team builders so that young people can meet other people. We've got uh, leaflets all over the place, um, our SEER awards that um, post us up in CAMS clinics everywhere where young people can come and um, receive awards, be nominated for awards and nominate their professionals and other young people. We also do activities like filming and art workshops that can bring out the creative side. The magazine in CAMS clinics, um, written by young people for young people, um, more inf information, helplines, you know, our, our details, all sorts of things to try and humanise the experience of going to a CAMS clinic. So it's a lot about encouraging creativity and communication skills. We go into schools and present to a group of people and trying to uh, raise awareness, um, especially about the effects of stigma in schools, um, and you know, try and normalise the big scary myth of mental health. I think some of the challenges are seeing skinny models because fashion is really important nowadays and it can give young people a very negative body image which is hard for young girls to deal with and boys as well because eating disorders are on the rise. I guess pressure from society to look certain ways. I also think that they have to overcome a lot of stigma in schools and because not everybody understands about mental health it can be challenging for them to get other people to understand and for them to communicate with people effectively. I guess it's individual, people have problems with their parents, others are alright with their parents, you know, different friendship groups are always changing, and so I think it's really difficult for young people nowadays. Better access to services uh, on all levels, you know, right from in schools maybe, you know, tier one up to young people needing more uh, help. I think the SEA initiative can really help young people because it encourages people with mental health problems to talk to each other and give them the opportunity to meet other people with mental health disorders and it helps them to feel more normal and gives them someone to talk to in their own age group. Well the magazines that we do, the Our Voice magazines are quite good because young people obviously like reading magazines so it's an easy way for them to flick through and uh, get the information that they need in, in a way that they find easy. Service user involvement is really key um, to helping young people recover um, and just talking about mental health in general. I think that they should have good communicative skills so that they can talk to their patients. I think they should be emphatic to understand what their patients are going through. Um, I think that they should be eloquent speakers and able to explain things fully so that their patients understand. They've got to be able to listen, that's really important. Um, and, you know, empathise with young people on their level and engage them that way. Um, and not come at a position maybe from on high or whatever just to, to listen and get to know the young person. I think they should be able to give young people time to speak and kind of to be approachable, that helps as well because it gives young people confidence to be able to open up to them and kind of share, share what they need to share. We spoke about uh, how young people who have access services getting involved in developing their services can help those young people and change their lives for the better um, and how at SEA we really think we've been able to do it with a number of young people um, and how we really hope to improve that in the future and make it more widespread. I think all of it's really interesting actually. Um, I love the first presentation talking a lot about you know education and um, the roles teachers and head teachers can play in um, emotional well-being of students and getting better grades and all that. All the ideas that everyone said this morning are quite positive, but um, the time to change especially, um, all of the ideas that they have coming up uh, sound really good, like the pop-up ideas that they have in schools sounds really engaging. People were identifying what was important to young people nowadays. I saw that there was a lady that had identified like key areas and I think that could really help mental health if they're identifying the particularly important things to a young person nowadays. It's helped me you know, massively. Um, personally, my confidence is going, being able to talk to people, you know, I've spoken at different conferences and schools, are, and, you know, coming to see her in the first place helped me meet other people with mental health problems and realise that I'm not alone in the things I'm struggling with. Um, and, you know, getting to know other people that are struggling with similar things has really helped me, and I think, you know, aided my recovery.
Whenever I went to see it, it was a really positive experience for me because I was able to meet someone else with bipolar and it actually gave me reassurance that I had been diagnosed with the right thing and that other people went through it and they had the same kind of symptoms with me. So it was a really beneficial experience to know that I wasn't alone. I was suffering from um, bulimia quite badly and also depression as well, severe depression. Also I had um, attachment disorders as well. So there's a few different things that um, I didn't understand much about and it, was quite, it made me feel quite lonely and quite, um, quite you know, different and stuff. But um, from CEO it made me feel a lot better meeting others with it.